Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, happy Friday, everybody ready for the weekend. Um, looks like it's gonna be a nice one around here, man. We're gonna have, I think, uh, upper 60s to mid 70s for highs, a little bit of cool temps at night. But hey, spring is definitely here and that's why I wanted to do uh, another What I Eat Today videos because I'm gonna try to shake things up a little bit this spring, shake off the winter and uh you know get a few things going uh, life's about to change for me this year i'm gonna probably sell this house and uh yeah so just a little bit of different energy anyhow if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go down there now and hit that subscribe button then click on that little bell and ch check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel and can come check out some more of my content um now this is always going to be a staple winter spring summer or fall I'm having a big bowl of ice cream this morning because uh, I've got some things to do. Now, normally I might would have had something a little bit juicier, a little bit lighter to start the morning, but I have a full day. It's a beautiful day, so I'm going to eat a big bowl of uh, chocolate and ice cream. And all this is, is just frozen bananas and a little bit of cacao. Kind of light on the cacao. I don't like it too, too heavy. And I would say probably this is around eight bananas worth. Now, what I normally do, never know, I might go sit down. Uh, I'm reading the news a little bit while I'm doing this, checking out sports, NBA specifically. Now, I never know. I might sit down and eat this whole thing, or I might sit down and get halfway through and go, okay, I'm full, finish it off for a snack later. But uh, I'm going to go enjoy this and i'm gonna go get a few errands done and i'll be back to you in a little bit and let's just see what we eat today all right instead of a salad i felt like doing something different today haven't made one of these in a while and this is just thrown together no proper recipe most things i make are no proper recipe but i'm having a nice big uh, green soup for lunch i can tell you roughly what i have in there though is i've got a uh, cucumber in there I start with my cucumber. I'll tell you I'll tell you as best I can. And like I say, this one's not anything special. I just used whatever I had in the house. This one had a cucumber. I cut up my cucumber. I peel my cucumber. I put it in the blender. Then I put, and I put uh, two Roman tomatoes and a clove of garlic. Then I blended that. Then I took as much uh, spinach as I could uh, cram into the blender and I blended that in. Then let's see, let's see, let's see. What did I do next? I took a big chunk of onion, probably about an inch thick, big chunk of onion, cut it up and put it in there with a little bit of jalapeno and some turmeric. Um, then I blended that up and then I finished it off with, well, I, oh, and I put a little bit of uh, Bragg's aminos in there and then I finished it off with a, an avocado, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And as you can see, topped with my uh, fresh uh, lentil sprouts. You can even see green, still green growth on those lentil sprouts. This is as good as it gets right here. And I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. Just mixing it up, just mixing it up. You know, even though green soup, not that much different from uh, having a salad, it's still different. And uh, you know, like I say, you gotta freshen it up every once in a while, or even me, <laughs> that can go, eat the same thing over and over and over will get bored. Um, I actually used a full avocado in this. You could, could That soup could have gotten away with half an avocado, but I had a full avocado, um, and I haven't really been eating a lot of avocados lately. I had one a couple of days ago. It's the first one I'd had in about a month, so yeah, I just felt like uh, having a full one in there today. I, don't, I can't think of anything else today that I'm gonna use fat in, so I figured oh, I might as well get some good fat in and enjoy that whole avocado, but gonna enjoy this, and I'll be back to you guys in a bit when I decide to eat again. All right, I just got back from the park, got a good workout in. I'm re I really enjoy, um, since I got this TRX, I usually go down to the park and I suspend it on a tree out there. It makes uh, workouts a lot, a lot more interesting than just doing it here at the house, so. Uh, Post-workout, I like to have these big green smoothies post-workout. Um, let's see what we got here today. We got about seven bananas, um, seven or eight bananas, a whole bunch of kale, got a little bit of cacao in there, and I've got some, what else, what else, what else? Oh, some uh, blackstrap molasses for a little bit of iron and calcium. 
I was funny. I was trying when I was just sitting there st uh, stuttering for a second. Was it seven or eight bananas? Every once in a while, um, in my comments, I'll go in and it's always old. It's always a comment from a video that sometimes two, three years ago, sometimes six months ago. It's never very current. Somebody will come in and they'll give me like they'll get write a paragraph and tell me, and it's always very dry. Like they're scientists, like all those bananas, they're very bad, or they'll be real angry at that at the fact that I eat a lot of bananas. <laughs> I'm like, damn, cuz, you didn't have to go through all that, just don't eat the bananas. I eat a lot of bananas. I'll be eating probably less bananas as we get back into the, you know, into the spring and the summer because I do get other fruits, but yeah, in the fall and winter, it's real banana heavy, so gonna go sip on this one this is going to be a long sip there's more in the blender i'll sip this i'm going to do some writing and then i'm going to go back down to the park for a little while and then i will most likely be back to you for one more segment well it was a very nice afternoon got a little bit of writing done then i went back down to the park and walked a little bit sat out there and enjoyed the weather and i'm just gonna have one more little treat to finish the day I have got, I, I had some uh, Cara Cara oranges left over, so I juiced about four Cara Cara oranges and used about half of a pineapple. And that's, yeah, my, my, my glass is always a little grungy <laughs> there, but uh, this is really good. Nice little vitamin C burst to end the day, light and refreshing. Didn't want to go too heavy, didn't, wasn't all that hungry. Ooh, that combo hit so good. I got to go to our uh, little curb market here in town in the morning, and I'm really hoping to find uh, some more oranges. Um, I think they have. I think they had some Cara Cara the last time I went up to Walmart. I've really enjoyed these Cara Cara oranges. They're not cheap enough to where I can just really like hit them hard every day, but uh, I've had them a fair amount this winter, and uh, I've really enjoyed them. I'm, I tell you, I believe Cara Cara is my favorite orange, and. Uh, that was a really good pineapple. They're not a bad price right now. I don't know why I haven't been buying more pineapple during the winter. Um, we have That's one thing that there is, there's always around here, and they're pretty decent. You know, people are always asking me about all this stuff, where they come from, GMOs, what they've been, how they've been uh, shipped or whatever. You know, when you're in a small town in South Alabama, you simply do the best you can. You can't get all picky on this stuff. If you were trying to like be super clean and get everything organic in a small town in a southern state like this, you're just going to be disappointed most of the time. So we do the best we can. If you can find organic, I always buy organic if I can afford it and if it's available. But if not, you do the best you can. That's what it's all about. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you either Sunday or Monday. Peace.